Welcome to developing an ADHD friendly classroom. First, the science. How ADHD affects the brain. In the brain, the prefrontal cortex functions as an intersection for attention, behavior, and emotional responses. For people with ADHD, attention is switched easily. The limbic system, which regulates the emotions, a deficiency of dopamine in the ADHD limbic system can result in restlessness, inattention, or emotional volatility. The basal ganglia, which is the neural circuits, neural circuit system that regulates communication within the brain, can short circuit and cause inattention or impulsivity. The reticular activating system, which is the major relay system between the brain's pathways, a dopamine deficiency may cause impulsivity and hyperactivity. ADHD is sometimes described a little like a Ferrari with bicycle brakes. There are three different types of ADHD. Impulsive, hyperactive, and inattentive. These can, these can present in three different, in three different ways. Primarily, there is the primarily inattentive type, sometimes called the drifting duck, where the, where the young person with ADHD has trouble following directions, difficulty staying on task, trouble concentrating, disorganized, loses things and can be effective and, and can be forgetful. Like Dory in Finding Nemo, my thoughts, they leave my head. The second presentation of ADHD is the primarily hyperactive impulsive type. I like to stand rather than sit, fidget and squirm, talk a lot, speak fast, can be very curious, interrupt, blurt out answers and can have trouble controlling themselves. This type of ADHD is sometimes called the high-spirited hummingbird. The third type of ADHD is the combined type, sometimes called going, going, gone gazelle. Here are some calming tools that may be useful to support young people with ADHD. First one is well, deep breathing using your hand, a really simple technique which can be taught to really young children. Simply hold your hand and with a finger from the other hand, trace your fingers up and down, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. A second calming tool is called counting down, again easily taught to children. Touch five things within your reach. Identify four things you see. Three things you hear. Two things you smell. And one thing you taste. The third calming tool I'm going to share today is called breath, adjust and walk away. Breath. A few big, slow breaths can bring your body back into a state of relaxation. Adjust. Lower your shoulders, unclench your fists, relax your face mus facial muscles. This can help loosen anger from the body. Walk away. Stepping away from the action is a great way to diffuse a tense situation. Go for a walk, gather your thoughts. To develop an ADHD friendly classroom, here are some strategies that might help. For, distract for distractibility, students with ADHD may easily be distracted by noises, people in the corridor, other class members, or their own thoughts that they miss vital classroom information. Physical placement, increased movement, and breaking long, long work into shorter chunks can all help children who are easily distracted. To counter this, try seating away from doors and windows, seat near calm and sensible friends, wherever possible incorporate physical movement, 
have important information easily available for the child to refer to and divide big tasks into smaller ones, allowing children frequent breaks. For interrupting, children with ADHD may struggle to control their impulses and may speak out of turn. Outbursts may come across as aggressive or even rude. This may lead to a breakdown in social relationship with students and staff. The self-esteem for children with ADHD is often fragile and putting out the social difficulties and pointing out the social difficulties in front of others may make matters worse. In this case, try developing a secret language with a child, use discreet gestures or previously agreed words to let them know the child that, that they're interrupting giving praise as often as possible for interruption-free conversations. For impulsive impulsivity, children with ADHD may act before thinking, creating difficult so social situations and may seem aggressive or unruly. Try a written behaviour plan near the child. Give consequences immediately and be specific in your explanation, making sure the child knows what's happened and what's been done. Recognise good behaviour verbally. Again, be specific in your praise. Make sure the child knows what they did right. And writing a daily schedule, crossing off each item as it is completed, can help children with impulse problems gain a sense of control and feel calmer when they know what to expect. Fidgeting and hyperactivity. ADHD causes many students to be in constant physical motion, seeming difficult for these children to stay in their seats. They may jump, kick, fidget and move in ways that make them difficult to teach. Provide creative ways for a child to move in appropriate ways at appropriate times. Releasing energy in this way may make it easier for the child to keep their body calmer during work time. Try asking a child with ADHD to run an errand, do a job, no matter how simple. Encourage the child to have, play a sport or have, do physical activity. Provide stress balls or discrete fidget toys. Limiting screen time in favour of time for movement. And ensuring as much as possible a child with ADHD doesn't miss their break or PE. Yeah. Trouble following instructions. Difficulty following instructions as, is a hallmark of problem for many children with ADHD. Although they appear to understand and may even write instructions down, sometimes they miss steps or misunderstand an assignment altogether and end up doing something completely different. Helping children with ADHD follow instructions means breaking down and reinforcing steps involved in instructions and redirecting them when necessary. Try being extremely brief when giving instructions. Allow the child to do one step at a time, then come back and find out what they should do next. Give a calm reminder of the child if the child becomes off track, redirecting in a calm but firm voice. A final word. For children with ADHD, relationships of trust are key, alongside explicitly teaching them more socially acceptable behaviours.